Here's a question for you. If you're a food truck owner and you rely on downtown office workers for your food truck business, what do you do when there are no more downtown workers for your food truck business? Last year, I was downtown Minneapolis all the time and the food trucks would set up along like 2nd Avenue and we would jockey for position. They would go around the block, around the block, and then at 9 a.m., everybody would dash into a parking spot. So you could have anywhere from 20 to 40 trucks downtown. And now with kind of nobody working downtown, I actually did not renew my license for downtown this year because where are the people right now? They aren't working where they usually work. Kind of everybody's working from home. So all of those lunch gigs, the corporate gigs, they're not really there. The graduations, they're not really happening. The parties, you know, we can't have all the gatherings. A lot of that has been canceled. So we're trying to get creative. Last year I did a car show here in the parking lot of Fleet Farm. I live in Brooklyn Park, lived here for 30 years. And I just reached out to my contact here and just asked, what do you think about me coming here? And which beverage can I grab for you? And the gal thought with the garden center being open, she said, come on out for three weekends. We've had phenomenal success here. So the taste of summer comes with a Diet Coke. And we've just been doing very, very well here at Fleet Farm. Tell me about some of the yummy food people might find if they come down to your truck on any given day. So we really are known as kind of a burger and grilled sandwich truck. So we have a variety of burgers and we also do some grilled sandwiches, which a few that are a little bit different is um, our grilled bacon macaroni and cheese sandwich. So I get a lot of positive chatter on our Facebook page. It's not a sandwich, but it's kind of off of a pulled pork with a coleslaw. It's called our Taste of Summer. It doesn't have a bun, but it has a layer of cheese curds and tater tots on the bottom. Then you put barbecue pulled pork on the top, coleslaw, and we top it off of an onion ring, and you eat it with a fork, and it really is a meal in itself. And somebody said like a buffet in a bowl. Well, thank you, Lisa, I appreciate it. Like all good entrepreneurs, she's incredibly creative and the Yummy Tummy food truck will survive. So if you get a chance, come down to the Fleet Farm in Brooklyn Park and have a bite to eat. In Brooklyn Park, Neil Persley, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.